Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's good to see you all. I'm gonna be changing the way I do my photography up. Uh, one thing that I think we all need to learn is to have more fun out in the field. Hopefully this could be an encouragement to you as well uh, to let go of some of those expectations that you might have on you when you're out. We're gonna walk around here, get a couple shots in the bucket, and then we're gonna jump back into the, the heated car and have a little talk because it is freezing. I think today is supposed to reach down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. So it's really, really cold today. And plus there's a main road that's kind of right off to the side here and there's gonna be a bunch of traffic. So let's get a couple shots in the bucket. There's a hawk right here up in the tree. <laughs> Gotta have a little fun out here. Abandoned playgrounds are always pretty cool. All right, it's freezing. Let's get back to the warm car. We're gonna do our journal entry too here in a minute. So I'm gonna pull that out. So I don't know about you guys, but when I was a beginner photographer, I had so little expectations out here in the field. I was just taking photographs and enjoying myself. Whatever the lens, captured that's what I took a photo of whatever came my way that's what I took a photo of I was really happy I found joy in the art and that never really left me I kind of become my own worst enemy of what I preach the most on this channel about find the joy in photography find the joy in the art just take your camera out and go shoot everything and anything There's some birds that just landed right in front of me <laughs> if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you first of all, but uh, the longer you stick around, you're going to see that uh, I'm kind of all over the place with my photography shenanigans. Where was I at? Oh yeah, just with social media, I, I think a lot of us, and I fell down into this trap of just, you know, getting in my head that with all of the sea of endless epic photos and epic locations, you know, I'm kind of stepping back a little bit on this channel anyways, at least, and I'm going to change my photography up. I want to go back to being a beginner photographer. I want to go back to feeling that joy and that excitement of what it felt like when I first picked up a camera. Because over time, I just get bored sometimes when I get lazy and complacent. So I hate New Year's resolutions. <laughs> it is January 2024, but I am set. I am set, guys. I'm making a resolution this year. And that resolution is to make sure that I am having fun out in the field. That I am having fun when I take my camera out. So here are some lists of things to let go of and also some things to embrace going into 2024 and beyond for your photography, but also for my photography. First one is just let go of your expectations. Come out to the field with absolutely zero expectations of getting a shot, of getting anything. Because when we have our mindset, we change our mindset to going back to a beginner photographer, that's where you're gonna find the joy, my friend. You're gonna find the happiness and the joy of photography is taking your camera out, whether it's a super telephoto, a prime, you know, a, a wide angle, 70 to 200, uh, 24 to 70, 16 mil, whatever. I've put myself in a box lately, guys, and I think some of you guys might have as well. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if this kind of relates to you, but uh, to where 
we see what we want to photograph we kind of just go after that one subject that one thing or we just kind of compartmentalize our photography to just only certain subjects certain things I, I fell into that so heavily and I was so afraid to really shoot what I just want to shoot if I did that and then I shared those photos did I just think that people would not like that and I get in my head of you know what are people gonna think and that brings me on to my next thing to let go of and that is people pleasing in photography and I think that really comes from because people on social media only post their very best they don't post the average they don't post the photos they don't like I want to change that with my photography I want to go back to what it felt like as a beginner photographer and start posting and sharing I don't want to be in some kind of box anymore to where I can only go out and do this or go out and only do that or you know I'm only looking for this specific thing you know you lose that joy when you put yourself in a photography box oh my gosh oh the sun dang it I'll just miss some opportunities for some geese that were like right above my head <laughs> so the next thing that I want to let go of in my photography and on this channel is this fear of missing out uh, FOMO as some people call it I think we can catch a little bit of a case of fear of missing out because we see everybody's you know best out there I want to ch have you change the way you think about your photography change the way you think about being out in nature I'm here to tell you my friend you're not missing out on anything other than taking your camera out to your location and go back to what it felt like as a beginner photographer of just letting go of the fear of missing out I'm changing the way I do my photography on this channel and going forward I'm just gonna start taking photos and sharing these photos with you of whatever graces my camera anymore why because I want to go back to that mindset I want to go back to that beginner mindset of finding that joy in photography next one is just let go of your self-doubt you are a good photographer photo competitions photo clubs you know reddit forums Facebook groups and all you know all, we have so much competition that we forget that we should be just competing with ourselves that going out there and finding joy in the art is what it's all about my friend we we've made it about gear you know all these other things other than just finding joy out there finding joy with your camera however that looks like your local duck pond or traveling across the country to go to some epic place or just being right here in your car and doing window photography there's so much joy that we're missing out on because we're focused on so many other external things as photographers here's some things that I want you to embrace as a photographer number one I want you to embrace your unique story we all have a story to tell we don't shoot the same locations we don't shoot the same subject we don't find compositions all the same we don't edit the same everybody has a unique style everybody has a story you have a story a unique story my friend I want you to embrace your unique style we all have a style each and every single one of us and if you don't think that you have a style just yet you'll find it but eventually it's good to branch out and I think we need to try to branch out as photographers next up I want you to embrace your struggles as a photographer we all have struggles that we go through we all have mistakes that we make out in the field we all have times where we missed the shot or we didn't get any shots because it's these mistakes and it's these struggles that are going to over time allow us to grow and mature as photographers so I want you to embrace those mistakes you know laugh at yourself a little bit it's okay it's okay don't beat yourself up if you miss the shot or you know you get upset don't, just stop change the way you think my friend of being a photographer I'm all over the place with my photography because I want to go back to that beginner mindset of throwing off all of that and the reason why I want to show my flaws and show my imperfections in my photographs and show my mistakes and my struggles we're all the same as photographers but I'm here to tell you my friend if you let go 
if you let go of these expectations. It may not look like it on social media because everybody just wants to show their, showcase their best. But you didn't see the 100 photos before that photograph was shared. And you didn't see the 100 photographs that were shot after that photograph was shared. We're gonna get into our journal entry. Some people were asking me whether or not I was gonna purchase the 200 to 800, the RF, the Canon RF 200 to 800. And I was really weighing on it, but I'm like, you know, it's, it's a good lens, I'm sure. There's a lot of reviews that are coming out with it already. But honestly, guys, I, I got the 100 to 500 here, and I, I have also the 1.4 teleconverter. I'm really happy with the 100 to 500. If you've been watching this channel for any lengthy period of time, you know I love carrying a journal, a field journal with me. And I just, I preach this time and time again that I think it's very valuable to have a field journal for you guys when you're out. You know, get the little pocket uh, right in the rain pads here. There's so many distractions when it comes to this. I love, there's something about writing down your thoughts, pen to paper. So, and plus you can kind of deck it out however you want. So today's journal entry, one thing that we as photographers can do to improve our photography is be more open-minded. What I mean by that is I think sometimes we can be so closed-minded in our, our specific niche of photography that we keep ourselves in that box, in that constraint that I was talking about earlier, that I want you guys to change the way you think about your photography. Go back to that beginner mindset. One thing that we as photographers can be thankful for let me know down in the comments below what you're thankful for as a photographer. I would love to hear about it. But today I'm gonna say snow. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like snow. I think it's beautiful. I think it gives a certain type of unique opportunity to shoot out in the winter time. So I'm gonna say the snow. I love you guys, I appreciate you, I'm thankful that you are here. Things are going to be changing with my photography here on the channel, and uh, I'm gonna be more open-minded with my photography to try to change the way I think about my photography to go back to that childlike, that beginner mindset to find that joy and to hold on to that joy of photography. If you liked this video, subscribe. If you're not yet subscribed for future videos, give it a like. Also, if you're not a channel member, think about becoming a channel member for the amount of a cup of coffee per month. You get some extra perks with that as well. Pick yourself up a hat or a t-shirt or a coffee mug as well in my merch shop down below. Anyways, guys, remember there is no such thing as a bad photograph, only a missed opportunity. Get outdoors and enjoy that opportunity that is in front of you with your cameras. Until the next video, take care, God bless and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, everybody.